Hey Pisces, I am Rena Wells. I am your intuitive medicine woman and I'm here to do your reading for July. We're going to take a look I don't, um, at what's going on for the month. I don't remember how I did the other zodiac, so I just flow intuitively. So if you are new, welcome to my channel and welcome to my uh, all my other subscribers. You know, I love you guys. I am running a sweepstakes um, this month, you guys, in just two weeks and 13 days. So make sure that you uh, like the video. I will post it down below so that you can like that video and enter, register properly and whatnot so that you can enter to win. And I will be, um, one of the prizes is my new deck, the Cosmic Tarot. So this is uh, what one of the prizes are. The other prize is a one hour live reading with me or a 30 minute recording recorded reading let's see what's going on for you Pisces I am pulling cards differently so if you do watch the other zodiacs for this month it will be different but let's take a look and see what is going on for you we have the wizard which is the magician in my deck Whoop. okay so we have the magician we have the seven of Pentacles in the heart space in your action we have the eight of wands in reverse and in the outcome, we have the Lovers and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, for you is that there is quite a bit of manifestation that's happening. Things that are that may have seemed stuck for a little bit um, are actually coming into some type of fruition. What I'm seeing here is, I'm just going to move back a little bit. So what I'm seeing is, so you guys can maybe see a bit better. Um... Yeah, there's not going to be any more waiting, and I think you're feeling the energy right now, Pisces, that you're not going to have to wait for much longer. Nothing is moving in your physical world, so you're like, what's happening? I've been getting these signs for a while, and it has, and it's because it's moving super slow, this love connection with the Knight of Pentacles. So, let's see what else. What is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Make sure you always look at your North Node as well, guys. We have the uh, Hanged Man in reverse with the Magician. We have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Strength card. This one wanted to come out as well with the Six of Swords. So there's definitely some kind of moving on energy. I feel like you may not be able to wait in a certain situation anymore in, in a connection. And you're just going to continue manifesting with what you want. And if you miss an opportunity, it's a missed opportunity. That's kind of what I'm getting here. You do feel stuck in your physical world. You feel like things are moving, but it may not be moving in a certain situation. But everything else is moving around you is the feeling that I'm getting. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse with Judgment. Yeah, so you're going through like a massive awakening or a new vibration is coming in. In regards to this lovers, you're not feeling this reunion or something is not manifesting. So... Yeah, let's clarify a little bit more because I do feel like the energies are moving really, really quick for you. And so let's let's pull some angel answers here because I feel like the energies are moving for you, Pisces. Um, but I feel like it's like it's almost like other things are taking off in a really big way. And you're like, why is this? Why is this other stuff not taking off for me? Yeah, it's a very slow movement in the love industry for you. Industry, the love field for you. What is going on for Pisces? Can you tell us, Spirit, what is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have asked help from others. So this is about your spirit guides really trying to come forward to help you communicate clearly. So you have to communicate much more clearly with your spirit guides. I feel this is a refocusing that's coming in for you, Pisces, that you have to kind of get a little bit more focused in what's going on in your life, um, how you want to move forward. And I think when it comes to love, there's been a lot of pain. Pisces holds a lot in, right? Uh, yeah, unlikely. And it came up in reverse and I don't usually take these in reverse. So it's likely unlikely is the feeling that I'm getting. Like spirit is like, you can have what you want, but it's really at a place right now, Pisces, that you're you're having a little bit of doubt. So let's do some clarification here. What is going on for Pisces? Wanting to manifest, but thinking that this situation is a dull moment is what I'm getting. We have the, yeah, you're getting off the path. The Page of Wands in reverse with the Eight of uh, Pentacles in reverse, okay? And we have the moon. So things are being hidden from you. Spirit is actually hiding it from you, Pisces. So I don't think that you can really 
uh, judge it based on your 3D world <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, that's not how we manifest either, right? We have to manifest from a place of feeling and knowing and faith and trust and all of those things. So I'm really feeling like it's um, spirit hiding it from you. <laughs> Spirit's like, no, Pisces, you're too psychic for your own good. <laughs> you know, Pisces are very intuitive. So it's a little bit, you know, you're trying to dig into the energy and it's just not happening for you. So if you're watching like other readings and stuff, and you're like, I'm getting mixed signs or it's yes, no. And it's like, it's just getting to a point like this is even frustrating. So if, if that's resonating for you, then I'm going to say then that, yeah, that's a validation. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what else is going on in your heart space. Because you're being strong in your heart space, Pisces, in July. That's really what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing like you're just not investing anymore in things that don't suit you. So you're welcoming a new vibration no matter what it is. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You're not going to stick around for things that don't bring you your ultimate happiness. And that's really important. Um, yeah, you're, you're getting rid of the illusions in your life, which is great. So whatever is hidden in your mind and things that you're not seeing, you're just not focusing with it anymore with that Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're like, no, nope, I'm getting off that path. I'm going to communicate. So Spirit's asking you for July to like really communicate a lot more with Spirit. Get very like... Um, Ooh, and the wind is coming in. <laughs> Get very um, sure about what, what you're doing, um, how you want to manifest, what you want to manifest, what you want in your life, all of those things, okay? Um, and be very focused. And it doesn't have to be a particular person, place, or thing. As long as you're manifesting the energy, it can show up in any kind of way that you could least expect it. As long as you don't have a judgmental mind about a Pisces, um, the ego just likes to hang on to things that keep you out of freedom you know keep you trapped and if you can just manifest the vibration it doesn't have to be a particular person or place or thing it can come in like so many ways and then you can just enjoy it so what is going on here with your actions because it's stuck and you're ready for a resurrection you're ready for the whole shebang new love yeah you're resurrecting yourself this is very powerful energy here pisces you're resurrecting yourself out of the devil like literally and very quickly okay you're like boom wham bam thank you ma'am not really like that but maybe if you want it like that but <laughs> i'm just saying like you're done with that right you're done with those that toxicity that's holding you down wherever you've been stuck you're like cutting it out i see in july pisces you're like no nope. if that doesn't suit me that doesn't suit me we have the six of wands that flew out in reverse so you're like no like um i'm not sitting in delusional energy anymore if it's failed it's freaking failed if this person doesn't want me they don't want me if this job doesn't come true then it doesn't happen then it's not my path like whatever it is spirit is really getting you um focused here to move forward with the chariot and be very very quick on your path they're saying the unlikely aspect here with the communicate um properly here i'm going to show you this with the unlikely and the communicate properly with that queen of pentacles is you know taking aim and see how this queen of pentacles is like she's getting ready to know what she wants and spirit's like the only reason why it's been unlikely for you is because you haven't been focused pisces so what i teach my clients is and i don't believe in manifesting in people places or things because then that creates attachment to people places and things which is the root of all suffering attachment to your exterior you want to work with your vibration you want to work with your energy your feelings your empath empathic nature your intuition so when you can do that, then you can you can manifest anything that you want. Uh, you, it's just not going to come to you in the way that you think, right? So Spirit really is trying to bring that through for you. This is about a love relationship. That is slow-ass moving. Like, listen, Pisces, I'm feeling like you had a bit of a ringer, Pisces, with, with love, okay? And Spirit's really trying to bring this through here and say, like, I hear you, I see you, I know. It's been a shit show. You've had, like you know people just want to party have a good time like not serious not taking you serious not like yeah i'm feeling like you're just making proper decisions you're following that higher calling into a higher knowing of what you actually want in a partner who ha what you want yeah what you want intuitively what you want clarify this the lovers yeah we have the sun the page of swords and the two of swords so you're becoming quite illuminated and when i created this card usually the sun for me upside down is kind of like the moon you know not quite like the moon but it is kind of like the moon but this is like the door is opening for you out of those illusions you're becoming illuminated and happy it's so much brighter it's so much more joy here and we have the two of swords whatever crossroads you've been at you know you're gonna you're gonna just cut that shit out you're going to make the decisions that that work for you and and nobody else this is about you time and to discover yourself more to discover your path more 
yeah let's see what else spirit brings through anything else for pisces sun moon rising and venus and north node please yeah spirit is saying any exactly what i was saying exactly we have the seven of swords okay upright with the ten of pentacles in reverse and the world okay so look at this here okay anything that has not been honest and when i created this seriously i'm getting bit by a mosquito right now okay so vampire energy seriously like seriously it's so fucking hot in this country i can't even oh i'm like honestly i thought i could handle the rainforest but i'm ready to go back to canada god i love it but i i i'm a little bit of a of an empress okay like just a little bit i need my ac and my <laughs> comforts oh i propped it out for enough like <laughs> sorry guys that mosquito got me but when i created this card look it's like that seven of swords someone's planning someone's trying to persuade someone's trying to be deceptive some you know it's like and she's like i don't know i don't want to go towards you you know and spirit's really trying to bring that through here to say that you know the this may have been a family pattern it could have been a relationship it could be something that you're ending that you're just really done with things that just don't work for you and your family things that don't work you know healing family patterns you're putting an end of a cycle to that so you're coming into a whole new vibration this month pisces and i think it's going to be completely different if you have a person in mind for some of you it may be somebody um who's changed or it may be somebody if they haven't changed it's gonna be someone brand new let's pull some um what am I getting pulled to here? Oh, what am I pulling, getting pulled to? Let's see. Let's get some other cards here. Um, let's get some starseed cards here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just feeling it's a whole new vibration for you, Pisces, and I think it's going to be really good for you. Let's see. What is going on for Pisces, please, Spirit? What else is going on for Pisces? Spirit is saying it's going to be like fan blastastic like, <laughs> like you're not gonna even know like it's just the most fantastic thing ever so whatever you have to let go this month in july i would definitely let go of it pisces okay yeah you may have been in stillness and that stuck energy for quite a long time here okay so the stillness card says reflect on this moment with love and kindness and compassion wisdom yeah you had to be stuck you had to be like completely stagnant in a place to gain your power to know yourself i know it sucks but that's kind of what happens and it says see your i swear to god i need bifocals guys i'm getting old see your adversities as opportunities to expand your spiritual light that is the wisdom that you're getting here now so yeah let's see what is going on for you in love and some other oracles we have here what is going on we're gonna see what's going on with the twin flame soulmate stuff spirit is saying for pisces and love let's take a look what's going on for pisces and love spirit so if you do have a person in mind we'll see what's going on with that person because they do deal with predominantly soul connections so what is going on for pisces sun moon rising venus and north no please spirit what is going on with pisces yeah you're done with vampirism you're done with people taking your energy you're you over you give a lot i think you actually over give a lot and spirit's like no more okay yeah the person you're thinking of spirit is confirming that that it could be the one but this person is not quite ready is what i'm hearing you are in separation that's exactly what i was feeling so this person is um i believe they also know that you're the one pisces they want to express their love so you may have been feeling that but nothing is actually manifesting here because of codependency that's what that devil was showing up to my god what happened to my cards like this is traveling he's traveling with my cards <laughs> this is what's happening yeah this devil that was coming out here this is what you were moving on from right with that card that came up with with this resurrection and this could be also the new vibration if you know take it or leave it i read for a lot of people right and so we have to kind of get general with these readings i do i'm doing readings again so if you want a reading look down below but there is like you know moving out of this toxic energy and i think i believe that's what's happening and that's that devil energy and that's what you've been doing this month okay and so if it is your person twin flame soulmate and they they've healed and they're coming around that could definitely be something okay pisces that you are definitely working on um that they may be coming back to express something but there is still some toxicity that's happened spirit is confirming that this person is the one here 
yeah, they may be releasing an ex and having some very honest conversations. So if that is your situation, that's what's happening in love. In regards to new love spirit, if it's not this person that they're thinking of, who, what is this? Yeah, they're saying if it's not, a new person will come if you are experiencing unrequited love and pay attention to red flags. So some of you guys are dealing with like um, high level soulmates, um, karmic situations or whatever else. Um, and remember, twin flames are not abusive, okay? They don't abuse each other. Uh, twin flames, they're really in the act of ghosting. <laughs> what that's about. And soulmates. So if you're in a, in a situation where your person is like really degrading you, being emotionally abusive to you, doesn't know how to regulate their emotions, they're, it's a dramatic situation. They're all, they're drinking, they're alcoholics, they're, you know, that's abusive, that's very low frequency, right? Twin flames and high-level soulmates are not like that. They have attain, obtained a certain amount of uh, emotional regularity, okay? They don't deflect, they don't blame, they don't expect somebody to uh, feel the same way as them. Their codependency level has, um, is a lot higher than most people, okay? So just realize that when you're dealing with love, okay? Um, get into your more your instincts then out of your head and out of your head but let's see what's going on with your person and love spirit is saying with your person if it is a twin flame and if you are looking for new love just take it as applies okay guys because yeah these readings are very general what is going on for pisces we have i know that there are secrets behind us that's why things are hidden and you don't know what's going on there's that moon energy again okay look at this all right there's that moon energy again like yeah no there's definitely things that are being hidden from you pisces this one definitely wanted to come out i'm working on my inner issues so yeah you're in separation your person's working on their stuff what about towards pisces please spirit twin flame that's on two bodies one soul all right so yeah, for some of you, this is a twin flame that's coming in, or this is your twin flame, and there's a resurrection that is happening because somebody is releasing an ex. Tell me about the ex. What's going on with the ex? <laughs> Magic hands here, guys. Magic hands. Clarifying the ex is the karmic wheel. Yeah, you better friggin' believe it, Pisces. And I'm not ready for what you have to say because, you know what, Pisces? I feel like you knew that you were right. I feel you may have warned your person and said, yeah. This is what's going on so yeah and they're like no not it's not i don't know why i'm doing these accents but guys this is me so just <laughs> they're, they're like no it's not it's just like whatever um you're wrong i'm right kind of thing and you're like whatever and now they're getting their now they're getting their karmic wheel okay now they're seeing it now they have to release the accent now they don't know how to come back and say sorry really all right, let's see what new doorways are opening up for my beautiful Pisces. What is going on for Pisces? If you guys like this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, if you like and subscribe now, I am running an event in 13 days. So by liking, subscribing, and going to the video that I linked down below, uh, by commenting in that video, uh, you will be uh, able to come into the live event, get a free mini read if I pull your name or donate to get one and a chance to win my tarot deck that I used tonight. So, yeah. Yeah! And again, if you want to work with me, I'll let you post them below. I love coming online, going online. I, I don't know. I guess I was kind of scared to, like, show my real self. So, it's like, I got your back, Pisces. You got the leg up here. So, don't worry. You're powerful. You're powerful. There are gifts coming at you right now. It was hidden. Spirit is leveraging you right now. That's a new vibration. There's a lot of serendipitous moments that are coming for you in July. Okay. Clean up your vibe, right? That's exactly what you've been doing. And Spirit's like, keep doing that. Keep cleaning up your vibe. There's a lot of... Can't make this up, guys. Two bodies, one soul, and a soulmate coming through. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful read, guys. I'm going to just... You know what? I'm going to just take a picture of that for the thumbnail. You guys can stare at that. Stare at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sending you guys so much love. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.